There is so much money out there. Most people in America have no idea how easy it is to make money in the United States. Well, after this show, you'll no longer be able to say, no one ever told you. All the way, 52. That's how many books the average CEO reads. 52 books, you should be reading this many books. One book a week, give me seven minutes a day. I'll change your life. These will, these books will change your life. If you think it's hard to make money in America, just watch the next few minutes of this show. Here in my garage, this isn't a get rich quick scheme. I love this sweater, but the shoulders are like very bulky. <laughs> Madison here, back with another video covering scams and unethical business practices. If you like deep dives and like to analyze, don't forget to subscribe and check out my Patreon in the description if you're interested. A few months ago, I did a super long deep dive into the get rich quick gurus of YouTube who I called free bots. I was thinking for these money making gurus to call them the free bots the free bots because they, a lot of things that they sell are labeled free. And on top of that, they constantly use the word financial freedom. These get rich gurus have been incessantly popping up all over YouTube, selling their courses on how to make a bunch of money doing stocks or Shopify or Amazon FBA. All you have to do is take their course and you'll unlock the secret to the riches of your dreams. In this video, I talked about a really fascinating article I'd come across that explained how these gurus work together and actually form a syndicate of sorts in order to maximize gains at the expense of the customer. After that video, I received so many requests from people asking me to dive a little bit deeper into the topic of the syndicate. And I was also super curious about this entire topic of the syndicate. So I thought, why not do an entire dedicated video where I dive deeper into this subject and how these get rich gurus operate, the patterns that we see popping up, and how all of them are connected. So let's dive deep into that. The main article I highly recommend reading that uncovered a lot of this is called Scam World, Get Rich Quick Schemes Mutate into an Online Monster by The Verge. Everything about the world of scam is about people working together against the customers without informing the customers that they're working together. The internet is sort of the dream platform for scammers. Get rich quick gurus are multiplying by the second. It seems like every single day there's a new ad popping up on YouTube with a new random guy in a new random location selling his new random course. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to start selling on Amazon step by step for beginners. Hi everyone, this is Stephen James from projectlifemastery.com. Today I'm gonna to share with you how to make money with Amazon affiliate marketing. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this all-inclusive tutorial, we are going to go step-by-step step showing you exactly how to get started with affiliate marketing. Hey, Miles here, milesbeckler.com. Welcome to the affiliate marketing training. This is by far the most comprehensive affiliate marketing tutorial I've ever produced, and it's 100% free here on YouTube. Hey everyone, so today I thought I would share with you the story about how I built five streams of income in my 20s that makes me over $1,000 a day. Using a strategy I created called Connected E-Commerce, and it is like nothing you have ever seen before. And I'm really good at this. I'm so good that I've been featured in places like Yahoo Finance for helping everyday women to learn a skill and build a business and completely transform their lives. The thing is, as you probably already know, get rich quick schemes have been around for a really long time. Welcome to Secrets of Success. Discover how you can achieve financial freedom in the 90s. What was your new year resolution? Most people just talk about it. Are you going to make it happen? Real estate expert Tom Vu on how to make a fortune in the 90s. A lot of people in America are wealthy, filthy rich. Is the next millionaire going to be you? 
In this video, I'm going to share a lot of stories of how these scams have been working and you'll start to see how the past constantly repeats itself. So let me share a story from someone all the way back in 2008 who had a run in with these get rich quick gurus. On a warm summer day in 2002 in Michigan, Richard Joseph's bad luck began. The lawyer, husband, and father of two was walking across the driveway with a bag of garbage when his barefoot slipped in a puddle of water that had collected beneath his car's air conditioner. His leg gave out and he landed on his back. While nothing was broken, the blow prevented blood from reaching his spinal cord. He laid there for an hour, unable to move, while his daughters watched television in the living room. By the time he was discovered, the damage was done. He'd never walk again. Eventually, Joseph would make it back to work at his law firm, although he couldn't keep up his old pace. By August 2007, complications prevented him from working at all possibly forever. Joseph describes his mental state after yet another stint in rehab. I'm moping pretty much, and right around Christmas time, I decided, you know, I better get my butt in gear and find something I can do from home. So I tried to find work as a lawyer from home, but that was right when Michigan's economy started to go to hell, and a lot of law firms weren't outsourcing work. So he took to the internet, looking for work from home opportunities and requesting information from various websites. In February of 2008, out of the blue, Joseph got a call from a salesman that identified himself as Ron Martino from Push Traffic with a work from home opportunity. I told him what had happened to me and he said, gee, I have a brother who's paraplegic. I know what you're going through. I will help you out. Martino couldn't talk him into anything straight away. So he began calling regularly, often just to chat. It was while this was going on that Joseph contracted MRSA, a multi-drug resistant infection he wasn't expected to survive. He called me enough times because I knew him well enough, I told him what hospital I was in. He called the hospital, got my room number, and talked to me in the hospital. I remember this really well because I was watching C-SPAN and how the economy was going and I'm sitting in this ICU room talking to him on the phone and he's talking to me like a good friend. He was being my friend. The courtship lasted around six months and eventually Joseph agreed to purchase an e-commerce site from Push Traffic. According to Joseph, Martina was going to set up the new website while he was in the hospital and he guaranteed that in 30 days, Joseph would be making 4,000 to 5,000 a month, working from his bed for an hour a day. There's so many similar undertones to MLMs, people who are looking for a work from home opportunity, who are in kind of a vulnerable spot that makes them more susceptible to scams or agree to things that they wouldn't normally agree to. And these bizarre promises of income that you can make for working a very little amount. Joseph hoped that if he didn't survive the infection, this source of income would be a lasting gift to his family. It was in this vulnerable state, facing death and trying to care for his family, that Richard Joseph charged $20,000 on his credit card, money he had yet to reclaim after phone calls, a lawsuit, and nearly three lean years. So basically, this guy who contracted MRSA in a hospital was a paraplegic and desperate to find a job that he could work from home, was scammed out of $20,000 by a get-rich-quick guru. What Joseph didn't know was that Martino was part of a vast criminal organization run by LA resident John Paul Raygoza. Raygoza is an internet marketer, a 21st century snake oil salesman. Stories like these are endless and they're still happening today. Trusting they were in good hands, they paid $30,000 for the platinum coaching package, which included a guided trip to a trade fair in Canton, China. He just seemed really amateur. It was hard being in a foreign country and realizing how much money we'd spent um, and knowing that we'd been taken for a ride, sorry. <laughs> I don't think I'd get emotional, but yeah, it was, it was really tough. I've got one, one really important question for you. Can you tell me one example of someone who has made any profit using your coaching? That's just not true, guys. Can you, can you name one person? This is one side of the story that you're hearing. Here. I want to hear your side of the story, Alex. What John Paul Ray Goza and those like him have created is this giant network 
of get-rich-quick gurus who make poorly designed websites, tacky template infomercials, and spew these outrageous claims that scare off the cautious but draw in the curious and the desperate. Time and time again, the person selling the course positions themselves as some sort of guru selling some sort of product or service that guarantees to generate income. On a real note, I always wonder, with the more and more gurus popping up selling these courses, the more courses that are teaching people how to be gurus, and the more and more these products are created, I wonder how oversaturated the market is at this point. Just like an MLM company, the more gurus or free bots that pop up, the more oversaturated the market gets and the less you're able to sell. A lot of these guru courses that you purchase really just tell you or teach you how to become a guru yourself. And then you teach people how to be a guru through selling courses and then they sell courses and the cycle continues. It's like this giant pyramid or Ponzi scheme but what's being taught is just how to be a get rich quick guru. And it goes on and on and on into this endless nightmare of scammy ads and weird looking websites. You wanna make money? Come to the real world. Figure out the top three things you could do if you could live your dream life. You see, here's the danger. School is an artificial bubble. How could you have any life direction if you're just thinking micro, like, okay, how do I, pass my exam today. Get out of the bubble, the artificial bubble. But the more these courses teach people how to make courses, and the more free bots are popping up, the more options there are for the market to choose from. The more these gurus are competing for the best YouTube ad spots, and the more free bot ads we see, which means we eventually lose, and everyone loses. So with any sort of internet marketing, as these gurus claim to be doing, there's always a sales funnel. There's a lead generation process, there's the leads that you end up qualifying and taking down your sales funnel, there's product launches, and there's the end sale and then the cycle continues. How the cycle most commonly works for these free bot get rich quick gurus all starts with these really bizarre ads that you see. First, they come in through some paid funnel where the scammer is paying a legitimate company like Google or Facebook to run some scammy ass ad on some site. The ads are always really vague, but have some sort of unspoken promise. Whether the guru in the ad looks extremely rich or they say, I've made $40,000 a month with this template and you can too. The process always starts with these overzealous ads nowadays. Then they come into this squeeze page. All you need to do at this point is put in your contact information into the form. Where if you just give them your email, you know, they're gonna tell you this great thing. It's gonna change your whole world. I really wanna help you. I wanna encourage you and motivate. These ads are designed to generate leads by weeding out the skeptics and getting the curious and naive to click the link and at least put in their email and some basic info about themselves. You build up a list by getting people to opt in to your scammy sales page. Those leads are, they're like chattel, you know, those aren't people anymore, they're, they're commodities. And they get traded around with no respect at all for like the humanity behind those names. You have say 300,000 people on your list. Once they've generated this lead, they usually start out with a simple sale, like enter your email for a free webinar enter your phone number and get access to this preview course, or join this free seminar, buy this $20 book, etc. But this is not the end sale that these gurus are after. This is only part of the funnel, the initial step and sale that they're able to get. This free product that they're selling to you is only to qualify you as someone that they can eventually convince to buy this much bigger, and larger product and much more expensive. Once he gets someone into his list, he'll have a series of offers of increasing value so that he can take all that person's money through all of his various info products or coaching things or private clubs or 
all his whole lineup of upsells. This end product will be far more complex and cost a lot more money. It's that basic sales tactic that they teach everyone to get someone to agree to a much smaller thing and eventually they'll agree to this much bigger thing. Like if you come out just saying something like, hey, buy this $500, $5,000 course, people are gonna be like, no thanks. But if you say, get this free seminar, sign up for this. Oh, did you like that? We also have this limited time offer going on for this course until eventually you've agreed to so much of these small steps that the bigger step or the end sale doesn't seem like that big of a jump. To get you to purchase this much bigger product, these gurus use a variety of hype and scarcity tactics. To try and get around this oversaturated market and tons of competition, some gurus have come together to form a community. I've known James Ray for several years and I have to say that he is a master of many different disciplines. And if I were you, I would get his programs, attend his program. Hi there, this is Bill Glazer, the founder of Glazer Kenny Insider Circle. And I want to encourage you to participate in the upcoming launch that James Malinchek has put together. I'm here with my friend James Malinchek, and I'm really excited to uh, just tell you how much I love this man. I say I really want to encourage you to be part of James's product line. The profits that are available off this program that if you participate as a JV partner are going to be huge. This guru came, Dan Locke, and he said, Hey, Gary, don't don't worry about that. I got I got the solution for you. And the other thing was that he didn't exactly just pop up um, directly to me. He popped up in many of the other channels I was watching. Some of you all may be watching uh, Stephen James Project Life Mastery or Improvement Pill. And this guy, like, knows how to network with all these you know gurus and such and for the longest time i was just devouring their content for free, you know their free content they always kept bringing up hey if you want to get rich you need a high income skill they were like my friend dan lock here teaches a high income skill and when a new product is launched by one of the gurus in this community this fake hype is manufactured by all the other members in the community the hype is called social proof but it's all fake it's just other gurus reviewing each other's products creating an illusion that what's being launched is actually a good product because these gurus are just reinforcing what the product itself is claiming to accomplish but in reality there's no real proof that this product is good these gurus also create a feeling of scarcity by either saying this product is only available for a limited amount of time how many times have we seen that one? <laughs> or more commonly nowadays, you have a countdown or limited time in which you're able to purchase the product on a website. Like when you go on a website and there's that little timer and red letters that says, you have three hours to purchase with this exclusive deal. While researching for this video, I've been on so many of those websites and the second the timer runs out, it just restarts automatically. The timer is not real. The deal doesn't go away. It just restarts the timer. <laughs> Within these communities, sometimes there's even affiliates that get a small cut of every product sale they're able to generate and incessantly promote these courses and products. They were like, my friend Dan Locke here teaches a high income skill. So these people I already hey, trusted. Hey, you want a little secret here? Yeah, let's hear You'll it. Get, get back into that in a second. But the secret is those people get paid every time they sell a high ticket closer course. They're not just That's saying right. that, okay? Right. They're getting a kickback from Dan Locke for that. For example, Glenn Ledwell, a law of attraction guru and creator of the company Mind Movies, a company based on the law of attraction and the movie The Secret.
marketed as a guide to achieving your goals, manifesting your dreams, and becoming happier and healthier than ever before for the low price of $499. After Ledwell's product launch, he posted a video onto his website addressed to all of his affiliates saying, we're just about to crack the million dollar makers and every promotion you do, you will get paid on. So how do I find like really good affiliate partners when you don't know anything about that yourself? Mm. And you've got a really good product to sell. We've sold about 800,000 actual physical products. Right. So you're looking at this, the question, where do I get affiliates to promote my stuff? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's Please. easy. All right. You have to run your business like the mafia. They talk about who's going to be on the in group and who's going to be on the out group. The only people who make money are the people on the in-group, the people on the A-team, as Frank Kern would say. If you're out there pitching something alone, if you're like, here's this thing, it's gonna make you a million dollars, I promise it is. Everyone's gonna feel like that's a scam. But instead of just one guy, it's 10 guys, 12 guys, all of those guys are saying the same thing, this is the thing you have to have. And then all the wannabe guys are saying, yeah, this is the thing you have to have. Then people will buy it. Not enough just for five people or 10 people to go, this guy's awesome. They need to see it everywhere. Within this umbrella of get rich quick gurus, products, and scams, there are also these internet marketing companies that sell super cheap products or free seminars or free videos, all of those free products, just so that they can get your name and your phone number. Then they turn over your information to companies called boiler room companies, which basically then use your information to try and sell you fraudulent goods. Boiler Room is set up to process leads, to take big lists of people and um, a really, a pressure salesman will call them up using a script. This is a Boiler Room, the trade name for the headquarters of the telephone pitched men. Pressure salesman will call them up using a script um, designed by the Boiler Room. They all sort of use equivalent scripts and the idea will be to get to people's vulnerabilities, get them feeling bad, and then take as much money from them as possible. Let's take the story of Lay, for example, which is a real story, but the names have been changed for safety reasons. Lay purchased a make money off the internet ebook called Power Cash Secret. The book probably cost her around $50, but the purchase got her on a lead list and soon she received a call from the boiler room. The salesperson selling to her is named Austin. Our marketing team is telling me that you're not generating the traffic that you could be to your home-based business, Austin says aggressively. There's a good reason, explains Lay. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not very computer savvy. Over the course of the next 40 minutes, Austin spins a tale of once being in the same boat as Lay. Running a website by myself? That's like a foreign language to me. Well, it was. Now I'm actually on the top of my game, and I'm an internet guru. There's a lot to the internet that people just don't realize nowadays. After feeling her out a bit, the questions get more personal. These are the kinds of questions you would never expect a salesperson to ask you. So uh, let, let me ask you then, since we're at the beginning stages with you, what actually brought you into or wanting to bring you into the, the internet business? Well, you know, you know how everybody is nowadays, you know, we've lost half of our retirement and I was just wanting another income. Are you in debt? Could you ballpark that debt for me? And how is that split? Is it a 60-40 split between credit cards and car? Lei, in her mid-50s, is a nurse who rents a house. She's not greedy, she's not looking to get rich. She just wants to be able to stash away some money for when she retires. Incredibly, Austin says, we've got a pilot program that we do every two years. We have been doing it since the beginning of the company's start. We give 20 people five websites. And these 20 people will, will gauge what's been selling the best because each person has these five websites. So that's five products. There's a hundred products out there that we can test. Austin asks Lay to grab a pen and paper so he can give her a little lesson about affiliate marketing, which he calls the best first way and actually the best way to make money online. 
I'm sorry, what, sir? She sounds stunned. Affiliate marketing, Austin repeats, is actually the number one way to make money online right now. We've heard this time and time again, especially lately, everyone's talking about affiliate marketing. Maybe it can be good sometimes, but for it's not something for everyone. It's clear he has her turned around. Okay, this is affiliate marketing? Austin describes how the program is supposed to work. Hell, he says he has a client generating $12,000 a month from ebook sales alone. And then after Lay expresses some confusion, he goes on to explain that ebook stands for electronic book. You should be bringing in at least 1,200 per week, every week. That's the minimum that anyone within our coaching program is doing right now. Austin goes on to say that he is cutting checks for at least 5,000 a week for each client. The implication being, of course, that soon she'll be getting her own $5,000 checks. We see this time and time again with multi-level marketing, where this aggressive salesman or saleswoman is just incessantly telling someone how much money they can make and how all of their dreams are going to come true and the person still doesn't fully grasp what it is they'll be doing because all the salesperson is talking about is income potential. They're never actually describing what they're gonna be doing because they know if they do that, the person's gonna be able to understand that this is a scam or that the income potential is completely a lie. Lay asks, how much will all of this cost? It's not a thing of you paying us, says Austin, reframing the question. We want you to prove to us that you're actually willing to participate and willing to learn and you actually invest into your marketing. Lay says, well, what is that going to cost me to invest? Depends on your level. Uh, let's... We're contracted with big names, such as Visa and MasterCard. He's implying some sort of endorsement by these two well-known and trusted companies, when in reality, all this means is that he can accept payment from either major credit card. Do you work better with Visa or with MasterCard? Because what we're going to do is try to get you approved on some type of level and see what we can, uh, what level I can bring you in on, okay? Well, what I have is a Visa card. Okay. If you can cough up $5,000, Austin explains, it's gonna be a return after a full year of one website. It will get you to that $70,000 that I had you give me your goals and dreams about. Because of our proven success method, we actually have to analyze each client that comes through at what level they bring in. So we can make sure that if you come in on the 5,000 level, you will make this amount of money, which is the 70K a year. Lay says, well, to tell you the honest truth, I can't can't do 5,000. I don't have any money laying around. To tell you the honest truth, I cannot do 5,000. I don't have any money laying around. Okay. Let's see what level we can get you in on. And then, like I said, I'll march down there and, and go to my marketing department immediately and, and see and, and actually get them to fill in the rest. So if you can only bring 1,000 to the table, then we'll get you in on that or 1,500 or whatever we can. Let's go ahead and see what we can get on, on and of what level we can get you in on. Eventually, he talks her into a $500 investment. And when she agrees to that, he tells her he's going to try to put you on the platform of at least $1,000. No, we have to bring you in on at least 1000 That way, that's a, it's a secure tool into your investment, and we invested more, actually more into you also. We went ahead and invested the $4,000 into your marketing. And what happens if I don't make good money at this? At the end of 30... At, I lose my... At the end... My at the end of 30 days, if, you're, if you have not returned on your investment, we will give you a, a refund back. I was going to say it's not a cash refund because it's on a credit card. It will be a refund, but you are guaranteed to make your money back. We have clients that actually within one week usually have a sale. Do I need to pay that back to you, Lay asks? No. What I need you to do is prove to me that you're actually going to be a loyal client and willing to learn. Yeah. What I need you to do is just be, just prove to me that you're actually going to be a, a loyal a client and willing to learn. Okay. After this, all Brent Austin needs is for Lay to print out a form, sign it, and fax it to him. 
Then she will be well on her way to earning big money as an internet guru. The recording winds up after 10 more minutes with Brent trying to teach Lei how to use a printer. The legality of all of this is, well, shady at best. Over the years, there have been a number of Federal Trade Commission lawsuits aimed at these get-rich-quick gurus. In November of 2011, the FTC dismantled an operation called Grant Connect with a $29.8 million judgment. In another case, the FTC issued a $247,000 judgment against Frank Kern, an internet guru that we'll get into pretty soon. He was the guru of instant empires that sold a $47 collection of web templates that promised that buyers could make more than $115,000 a year using the product. I also thought since I talk about litigation in the past, I might as well bring up some important information on the FTC website about get rich quick schemes. In 2018, the FTC went after Amazing Wealth Systems, which sold their get-rich-quick scheme to wannabe Amazon sellers. Sound familiar? And a big reason why the FTC took action is because Amazing Wealth Systems failed to comply with the FTC's business opportunity rule. The rule, among other things, includes these requirements. A company that promotes a business opportunity making specific earning claims like make 5000 to 10000 in the next 30 days must have proof that people can actually make that kind of money and the company has to give prospective buyers a disclosure document that includes certain information about the business. If a business opportunity is promoted in Spanish, the, the disclosure document has to be in Spanish too. Companies that promote bogus business opportunities often fail to follow the rules. That's why if you're interested in a business opportunity, the first thing you should do is ask for the earning claims statement and the disclosure documents required by law. If they hesitate, walk away. The FTC also acted in 2019 and shut down companies operating real estate seminar schemes. According to the complaint, the scheme starts with advertisements featuring real estate television celebrities, including Scott Yancey from a &E's Flipping Vegas, Doug Clark from Spike TV's Flip Men, Drew Levin and Danny Perkins from HTV's Renovate to Rent, and Josh Altman from Bravo's Million Dollar Listing Los Angeles. These advertisements, which promise celebrities insider tips on how to make money in real estate, allegedly have enticed thousands of consumers to attend free 90-minute seminars. The FTC's complaint charges that the free seminars are predominantly a sales pitch to spend more than $1,100 to attend a three-day workshop, where consumers will supposedly get access to a system for finding lucrative deals. Those promises also prove empty as the three-day workshops largely consist of general information about real estate investing, misrepresentations about services offered by Nudge, and a sales pitch for advanced training that costs as much as $40,000, according to the complaint. In 2012, the FTC won a court judgment against massive get-rich-quick infomercial scam. The marketers are behind the infomercials for John Beck's free and clear real estate system, John Alexander's real estate riches in 14 days, and Jeff Paul's shortcut to internet millions. The court found that the infomercials misled consumers in violation of the FTC Act and that despite the marketers' easy money claims for the system, which cost $39.95 each, nearly all the consumers who bought them lost money. Regarding the John Beck system, the court found that the defendants falsely represented that consumers could purchase homes at tax sales in their own area for pennies on the dollar and that they could make money easily with little financial investment. The court found that the earning claims in the John Alexander infomercial were false and that the Jeff Paul infomercial misled consumers by creating an overall impression that a typical consumer can easily, quickly, and magically earn thousands of dollars per week simply by purchasing and using the system. In contrast to the infomercial's easy money claims, the court found that less than 1% of consumers who purchase a system made any profit whatsoever. It's extremely challenging to track down all of these get-rich-quick schemes and have enough evidence to take action, 
But if you think that a get rich quick scheme or a get rich guru is operating against FTC guidelines, a link in the description of this video will be provided to the FTC website where you can report it and help them from stopping more of these get rich guru scammers from popping up. Now that you know what it does for you. Right. If it was on TV and it was 500 bucks, would you think twice nope. about getting it? I get it just like that. I'd sell my house, my car, really, you know, my cat. <laughs> <laughs> Don LaFree worked his way from bankruptcy to financial independence in less than a year. How did he do it? It was easy, and he's ready to pass his money-making secrets on to you. They're all here in this money-making package, available only through this program. Call this number now and receive all of Don's secrets for making money on your own and becoming financially independent. According to Roberto Anguizola of the FTC's Bureau of Consumer Protection, savvy internet fraudsters use fake information. They they use a host of shell companies and they use internet registrations that are private or themselves are fraudulent. They cover up their tracks. If it's a hydra of an internet scam and you just chop off one tentacle, you might be missing the rest of it. And it will regenerate in a form that will not be recognizable. One of the things we do is we follow the money trail to make sure that we're really getting to the bottom of it. A lot of these fraudsters have front people. So you've completely failed in a fraud investigation if all you do is get the front man that the real scamsters want you to get. This entire internet guru scheme is this giant web of fake fronts and fake websites and templates and product sales. And at the center, there's only a few people who are really getting most of the money. Whether a website you see is a front for a boiler room company that gets your information and calls you or emails you trying to sell further product, whether that guru has actually been tricked themselves by another guru who charged them to teach them how to build a course, whether there's multiple fronts for the same company that's getting all of the money, all of this is this giant and complex web that's almost impossible to stop. That's why it's so hard for the FTC to really get rid of all of these. There are so many fronts. The government doesn't understand the internet, first of all. They just don't have a baseline understanding of how the internet operates, of how social it is, of how important it is, you know, sort of to control the conversation or even that there is a conversation going on. The crimes are not very complicated, but the medium on which the crimes are being committed is um, complicated to the government. It's the one scam that has been so persistent throughout time. And if you bring one down the next day, five pop up in its place. The common niches for these internet marketing gurus are the get rich quick schemes. Knowledge. This isn't a get rich quick scheme. Invest in yourself. Always be curious. Don't be a cynic. The schemes on how to teach people to do the get rich quick schemes. I don't have the qualifications or the certifications, right? But I was still able to go from scratch, from zero to profitable in less than 30 days with, with, with nothing, okay? And I put together a free training where I wanna share with you these three secrets that I learned and this new method that I finally created over years and years of trial and error. Okay, save yourself time, save money, save energy, save effort. Hey. You want to learn how to sell online courses. Maybe they're your own courses or you're an affiliate for somebody else's courses. Either way, make sure you watch this video all the way through because if you don't get these three things right, well, you're not going to be selling anything. Spiritual courses. A lot of people talk about balance and I say that balance is bogus. Look at a scale in perfect balance. Nothing's happening here. Right? There's no vitality, no life, no dynamism. Thank right? You. If you look at the scale in perfect balance, what's happening here? Everything's even. No, yeah, nothing's happening. Yeah. It's, it's dead. And pick up artistry. He bleeds r slash nice guys. In the next three minutes and 47 seconds, I'm going to reveal a secret about men and online dating that will devastate you, at least at first. Women are flaky by nature. They flake on their friends, they flake on their families, they flake on their well, all kinds of things. 
The same courses have existed for a while now, just rehashed and recreated with a new face and new interface to sell on. The reason why is because the product is irrelevant. The actual product itself, the course, the information, the website, is all completely useless. It has no value. One of the biggest masterminds behind all of this is Frank Kern, the guy I mentioned earlier who sells the $47 course on how to sell more courses and who was given a $247,000 judgment by the FTC. In his course, Frank Kern explains to future freebots that the market, aka what people are willing to buy, is the most important factor when developing an informational product and not whether or not you're actually qualified to teach a subject. The product is really irrelevant. Now that's not to say that you can't or, or don't need to or should not make an absolutely kick-ass product. That is not what I'm trying to tell you at all, but we should never put the cart before the horse. That's why a lot of gurus value showmanship. These extravagant videos with the flashy cars and the planes and a charismatic guy or girl, of course, talking about how all of their dreams have come true. Andrew Carnegie says 90% of America's millionaires made it in real estate. If you have a desire to make your fortune in real estate, the Tom Vu Real Estate Seminar is for you. You do have two choices right now, my friend. Number one is do nothing. Stay home. Do what most people do. And five years later, you'll be lucky if you have a job. Or number two, you can come to my seminar. Learn the secret of how other people are making millions, so someday you can become financially independent. You'll watch these videos and find there's actually no substantial information, but all of the flashiness completely distracts you from the lack of tangible information and draws in the curious and the desperate, because all that matters is what people are willing to buy. And of course, it also helps that video doesn't leave a paper trail for the FTC. So with all these courses popping up left and right, with an oversaturated guru market, how are these gurus finding success? Well, first off, most of them don't, like in MLM. There's a few gurus at the top teaching people how to be gurus, and then at the very bottom, there's a bunch of young, impressionable people creating these templates and spending a bunch of money on courses and then spending even more money marketing themselves and getting very little in return, very little ROI. They talk about who's gonna be on the in group and who's gonna be on the out group. The only people who make money are the people on the in-group, the people on the A-team, as Frank Kern would say. There's also people like Ty Lopez and Russell Hartley who go the outrage marketing route as a scheme to promote their guru course. Here in my garage. But other than that, how do these gurus compete with the thousands of courses out there and actually make profit? Gurus are gaining sales through forming a syndicate. The syndicate, as they call themselves, is like a group of 12 or so internet marketers who early on decided that they would all band together, work together against the interests of the customers. Frank Kern himself is one of the masterminds behind the syndicate and discusses what it is in a seminar of his. You have to run your business like the mafia. You, you've got a market, all right? So whatever your market is, is like a community. You have competitors in that community. The thing to do is to go to those competitors and establish what I call a syndicate. So you form a mastermind of peers. Identify the strongest people with the most reach that can help you that are serving the same market. Then you hold a meeting for all of these people. Physically come, fly them to you. So when you're all together in the same room, you immediately form this bond and you form this camaraderie and then you deliberately ask every person in your group what their promotion schedule is like for the year, and then you each work together on how to promote each other for maximum effectiveness. I mean, let me, I mean, let's be fucking honest here. Have you ever noticed that all the people in the internet marketing world are promoting each other? I mean, we're not psychic. All the top people work together to serve the market better and to help each other's business. It's based on the principle there's no such thing as my customer. So you help them as the godfather would do, get what they want, 
And then you bring them all together, and then you all work together to get what you want. Basically, a guru syndicate is an organization of those who are selling a similar line of courses and products. Just like the cartel, Kern recommends meeting with your competitors, sharing information, and helping each other. Instead of the market setting the price, you set the price with your competitors. If this is the customer right here, it makes sense that you align all of your peers, right? who some would call your competitors, all the people in your marketplace, if you all work together to constantly be delivering value to this guy. They plot out their prices and their launch schedules. So if you're launching anything in the industry, please, so that I can support you and vice versa and all that type of stuff, try to move before this date or after this date. Those within a syndicate will even collaborate on release dates to emphasize a feeling of false scarcity. So there's no competitive edge and all of these gurus set their prices at a very, very similar range. Within a syndicate, they're gaming all of their customers, faking social proof, recommending each other's courses to everyone, and banning together against the customer instead of for. So all of these fake reviews, fake re recommendations, and the setting of price are the real drivers of sales. These gurus have found a way to completely cut around any sort of actual product of value, any sort of authentic product with an authentic market that purchases the product by faking value, by faking reviews, faking everything to give this illusion that the products are good and to give the customers less options of what to purchase. I mean, the group that Frank Kern is in is literally called the syndicate, so it's pretty clear what's going on. So let's examine a few different internet gurus and their courses to see if they may be part of a syndicate as well. The main way you can find a syndicate is by looking at courses and seeing if they're selling things for the exact same price or recommending each other on each other's pages and doing a lot of that kind of stuff. The best evidence of the syndicate that you can find is going on to some of these Get Rich Gurus websites and seeing if they have any testimonials or recommendations of the product. What's interesting is on a lot of them, you'll find recommendations from other Get Rich Guru course guys. For example, Project Life Mastery, a course on Amazon FBA, if you go to their testimonials page, you'll see testimonials from Trevor Turnbull, founder of 30 Day Sales Machine, Steven Sommers, co-founder of Marketplace Superheroes, Darren Jacklin, world-class professional speaker, Scott Epp, founder of Abundance Coaching, Dan Locke, look at there, Dan Locke's recommending Project Life Mastery. There's uh, Gary Ryan Blair, founder of the 100 Day Challenge, and Yayak Bakar, founder of World Class Speaker. So let's just take Yaya, yeah, Yaya, sorry, I butchered that name. Let's just take Yaya, for example, and go on to worldclassspeaker.com. There's his site. Now there's success stories. If you click on success stories, we have other gurus recommending Yaya, Elliot Hulse, founder of Strength Camp and author of King, Gerard Adams, the millennial mentor, philanthropist, and CEO. So you have all these other get rich gurus recommending Yaya. And let's see if we can find our Project Life Mastery. There we go. So they're cross-promoting each other to create this, this feeling of hype to give the illusion that the product has a certain quality that it just doesn't. They're just cross-promoting each other for their own benefits. And here are some of the other courses from gurus who have been recommending each other that I've come across. Tatiana James. Oh, and look at Project Life Mastery Guy. Tim Sanders, Private Label Masters. Marketplace Superheroes with the same kind of recommendation thing. Expert 
secret selling machine, abundance coaching, and some gurus do this in more subtle ways. You'll see Grant Cardone and Ty Lopez often collaborate or do videos with people of a similar caliber. And while cross promotion isn't necessarily a bad thing, you know, a lot of YouTubers, influencers, and people on the internet cross collaborate. It's a great way to share each other's audience and grow your audience more and your spread of influence. But when you are collaborating business-wise, you're coming up with release dates, creating a false sense of scarcity, faking product value, all of those things, it starts to become very mob-like and a lot more sketchy than just cross-promoting each other. So yeah, that's how you can find out whether get-rich gurus are cross-promoting each other or involved in a syndicate of sorts in their own way, is when they have recommendations of each other on their website or they're constantly doing kind of collaborative videos or promoting each other on platforms like Twitter. That's how you can find the best evidence of the syndicate. Another thing completely unrelated to this entire subject, apparently Dan Locke's new concept is called the Wealth Triangle and it shows up on his website as a literal pyramid and I just thought that was funny and worth sharing. <laughs> A lot of what these gurus sell, we've been conditioned to believe ourselves. Through the perpetuation of the American dream and all of these self-help gurus. I'm a female, I'm an immigrant, I'm a minority, I'm transgender. I, excuses, reality. The problem is nobody cares. You can literally do four different things over the next two years, six months at a time to figure out everything that you think you might like, 99% that achieve are willing to sacrifice, be persistent, put in disproportionate work, and think in 50 year terms, not 50 day terms. It's not about the value of your soul, it's about the value of you in the marketplace. There's always two pains in life. There's the pain of discipline, or there's the pain of regret. And I found out that the same things can happen to two different people, one gets rich and one stays poor. Why is that? It's because it's not what happens, but rather, it's, what you do that changes everything. Self-help gurus teach that you have the power to do what you want, to create the life you want. And then these get rich quick gurus say you can achieve the riches that you want, just purchase this course. So it's almost this indirect symbiotic relationship where you're exposed to this concept through self-help gurus who tell you that you are able to accomplish your dreams, that you are entitled to a certain amount of riches, that you're able to unlock the secrets of life. And then once you're conditioned to that belief system, it's easy for these gurus to say, here's the secret. Here's the answer to all of these riches that you're entitled to have. Just purchase this course and it's all yours. Further proof of the syndicate that Frank Kern was involved in is when Tony Robbins launched a get rich quick internet scam with the help of Frank Kern. Tony Robbins, he sells out stadiums around the world. He's helped over 50 million people and advised the world's most influential leaders. If you've ever wondered what his secret is to helping people. Frank Kern. Frank Kern. You've got to form this type of syndicate. It all started with Robbins releasing a couple of videos on his training blog interviewing internet marketers like Frank Kern and John Reese. I had someone walk up to me and say, you know, I've been studying and following these internet marketing guys for a long time. And once I saw Tony got behind him, I knew it was real because I didn't know what to trust. What most people watching the videos didn't realize at first is that these videos were highly manipulative advertisements, almost certainly for an upcoming get rich quick on the internet product, the field of expertise for both Reese and Kern. Here's the way I do. Hi, this is Tony Robbins. Um, you know, many of you know me for all the great things I've done, accomplishments, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. I, start, I got introduced to the internet marketing community. And I know what you might be thinking, well, it looks like a bunch of hucksters and scam artists. What I found was exactly the opposite. Many of them have no education, um, you know, other than a high school education. It's oftentimes making five or ten million dollars a year with a minimal staff of just a few people who, like themselves, are not heavily educated necessarily. And I wanted to model them. Now, I've implemented a lot of these programs in my own business, and frankly, I've completely transformed and changed the way I'm going to be doing business. I, so I'd like to introduce you to the money, new Money Masters 
Then later on, they released a $67 per month CD, DVD, and manual course called The New Money Masters. So many people right now are suffering, they're frustrated, and the biggest area they got is financial suffering. And that one, that one can be alleviated. And all of this happened after Kern was successfully sued by the FTC in 2003 for $634,000 for running an illegal chain marketing scheme on the internet called Instant Empires. Creating hype before the launch of an information product is a cutting edge sales tactic that Frank Kern and John Reese both promote in their products. Here's how they do it. They release free videos of authentic conversations that aren't apparently about any product, identifying a problem and creating buzz while distracting from any critical faculties a customer might have because you don't realize you're being sold to. This also creates a kind of guilt-tripping response in the customer if you give away a lot of free content, make the potential customer feel like they owe the seller for being so generous. They then sell a very expensive product with a flurry of hype and a limited quantity available, increasing the sense of scarcity. This eliminates any possible conversation between customers as well as feedback to the company, as there isn't enough time for anyone to discover if the product lives up to the hype before they are sold out. Selling a very expensive product and creating the conditions for it to sell out quickly reduces the public conversation around it, for customers will be less likely to share it with others due to how much they paid for it. This creates cultish in-groups due to lack of feedback, further entrenching customers to purchase additional products and reduces effective criticism for critics can't know exactly what the products are. Often the marketers will take down their sales pages and videos afterwards, which further reduces potential criticism and checking hyped up promises against delivered products. This is bad for consumers and bad for business. We have been conditioned to believe that there's some sort of secret to success that we don't have access to, but others do. And that's why it can become so easy to believe the snake oil salesmen in their private jets and in lavish homes when they tell us that they've been able to reach massive success through a simple system and that they're willing to teach us that same system. We want to believe that's true. This is America, right? Where dreams come true, where capitalism is the answer to everything. You have to spend money to make money, right? Besides, what if they do have the secret that can end this nine to five nightmare of debt and broken dreams? We've been sold hope, and then before we know it, that same hope is used against us to scam us. So I hope this was an in-depth video on how these get-rich-quick gurus operate and how this system is fueled and transformed into this monster that can't be stopped. In the description, I'll be leaving a link to the FTC report page so that if you do see ads like this or scams like this, you can report it to the FTC and at least maybe aid in stopping this giant monster. And that's all I have for today. I usually have some sort of snappy, clever intro, but I got nothing. See you next time. This isn't a get rich quick scheme.